so this video is gonna be about the ZMF process and process just meaning, hey, this is how you get the ZMF in your hands, sounding, looking, feeling how it should. Um, the first thing that happens is, you know, we buy the wood from somewhere in the United States. I have a bunch of different places I get the wood from. It gets sent down to St. Louis and uh, that's where our machine shop is, where we own our CNC machines and have a couple employees down there that CNC our cups. But then when it gets in our shop, um, and we're gonna focus mostly on the acoustic aspect in this video, um, after the sanding and finishing is done, after the cups are processed and all the woodwork is done, we've gotta to start to assemble the headphone. And so the first thing that happens before we can assemble the headphone is we have to match our drivers. And so I'm gonna shoot it over to myself and then I'm sure the Zach in the measurement room We'll shoot it back to me and we'll we'll get going from there. All right. Hey, thanks so much, Zach. Uh, I'm here on the scene at ZMF headquarters and uh, we're gonna take a look real quick here at the ZMF QC measurement rigs before the headphones get assembled. And uh, what that means here in the measurement room is that these drivers are gonna go right into this measurement rig. We're gonna make sure they get measured, put into our database here which can be seen through uh, this uh, vast system of drivers that we've measured. Um, all those drivers live in these bins, which, uh, you know, we have thousands of drivers just sitting around, waiting around to be matched after we've measured them. And we're able through our proprietary algorithm that we've uh, created at ZMF, uh, you know, to put them into these uh, lists, use our mathematical equation that we've put into this program, and get perfect matches before they go into the headphones so that we know later on any issue arises with the headphone, it's not due to the uh, drivers not being perfectly matched. So uh, yeah, that's a quick rundown on the measurement driver matching system here at ZMF. And uh, I'm gonna shoot it back to Zach in the studio. That was certainly interesting. Um, and so, yeah, the first thing that happens is that as we start to build the headphone and we can just kind of go over to um, what happens here is we schedule out the builds and you can see like this is today and all these builds have um, very specific specifications here um, to make sure that you know the headphone gets built right and if i'm building headphones i'll select my name of course and you can see all the specifications for what the builder needs to know as far as, you know, what's the serial number, what color is the headphone, uh, what's the color of the grill and rods. These are African blackwood, verite clothes, so you can see that there's some different, you know, colored rods in them. And, you know, is it a suede or leather headphone? So you'll see here, like, I don't know, say somebody's building a Atticus or Icon, this assembler will go in here and they'll start this quality control session. You'll see that everything on here gets checked. It gets pass or fail for wood finish, metal finish, all this stuff to make sure that, you know, we're not building a headphone that is supposed to be A stock, but ends up as B stock or ends up not having the the correct actions done to make sure it's not only made to the right specifications, but made in the correct manner. And, you know, not only do we have this, but we also have a, you know, standard operating procedure um, for all the headphones. Then after that stage, it goes into the, uh, the measure, back to the measurement room. And I'm gonna guess I'll kick it back to, uh, you know, our, our on the scene reporter there. Yep, yeah, he's live and he's he's ready to show you how the uh, the end of the headphone you know measurements go and, and uh, he'll throw it back to me I'm sure uh, when he's done in a moment. Uh, yeah, just turning on a couple of my favorite amps, the uh, ECP Ravenswood and uh, Lord Gwyn Air Mountain, uh, one of a kind tube amp, my two favorites right now, just so we can listen to these headphones after we get them measured. So. Uh, yeah, let's go into the uh, measurement room. Uh, first thing is that we actually have three different measurement rigs here. We have a uh, AECM uh, 206, 
which is a uh, Pinia flat panel, you know, Gross 45CA type rig. A flat panel rig that we actually use most for uh, matching the headphones AECM 210. And uh, that helps us get really accurate left and right measurements when we don't need to be super accurate. And I also have this uh, hats unit that I use for R&D a lot. And I mean, it's just a dream to have all these uh, measurement rigs so we can get those super accurate measurements depending on what stage of uh, you know assembly we're at. And then each headphone gets put through our measurement rigs to make sure the channels match. This is from a flat panel, this measurement. So that's why it looks a little funky, but you can see the channels are perfectly matched. And that's what we're looking for every time a headphone goes out the door. And so when we finish assembly, you know, here's a uh, stock Sapele Verite comes in and then the guy who's, uh, or gal who's doing the uh, measurements, they'll go ahead and look at the QC card you know, see if everything got checked off correctly, see if there's any notes about the headphone uh, so that we can go ahead and QC it again, put it on the measurement rig and check anything that needs to be double checked before it goes to the next stage. But yeah, I'm gonna get these measured and go listen to them because uh, that's definitely the best part of the job. All right, back to the studio. Yeah, so now we've got this headphone put together. You know, I, I have this, uh, playlist of title tracks that, you know, I used to like the songs, but obviously after listening to them for the last 10, 11 years or so, starting all the way back with the T50RPs when I modified them, I don't find them quite as exciting as I used to, but they're still good jams, you know, I still I still like them, so to speak. But, um, but yeah, that's kind of the last part is before they go to shipping and you know, it's it's these eight tracks that I've really dumbed down. I do change them every once in a while, um, but you know, I haven't I haven't changed them in a long time. Male, female vocals. I'm testing placement. I'm testing hey, how you know, bloomy is the headphone supposed to sound? And yeah, I mean, this is definitely all stuff that um, you know can be checked. Uh, in measurements, you know, if you're looking at the distortion and the impulse response and the frequency response and all that stuff, and obviously all that stuff is set, but, you know, until you listen to it subjectively, I think that's the beautiful thing about audio, is that, you know, you can measure all you want, but until you get your ears on something, you're not going to know exactly how it sounds, and that's why we listen to every headphone uh, before it goes out. Um, and then, yeah, let's, uh, you know, let's see if there's anything else, uh, back at the shop that our, uh, sideline reporter wants to, uh, check out right as the, uh, the headphones are packed up. All right. So the headphones are all measured and they're ready to go out the door and everything, but we do have to get them packed up and looking good. You can see them right here next to the, uh, ZMF master board where all the headphones that we have to ship today are kind of shown. And uh, we're gonna turn it right around here to Alex, who uh, takes care of all the final QC and making sure the headphones packed up really well. Alex, what are you preparing here? Yeah, so right here I've got the docks that I hope every new owner goes ahead and takes a look through. But real quick, we have an owner's card, which has the completion date, your serial number, and the wood species that your headphone is built out of. An AirPad info card to help you make decisions about pad choices in the future. Uh, a headphone info card, which tells you what pads are currently installed in the headphone, as well as what finish we used on the wood. And finally, just a little marketing book, you know, to showcase some of our other stuff <clears throat> that has some helpful information in it. So the headphone's already been listened to, and uh, it's just about to go out the door. What are you kind of looking at right before we get into the shipping box? I'm just going to go ahead and do every single step that I, or every single check that I do as a builder before they go out, just, just to doubly check, you know? I like to start at the front and check for any extra vibratite or marks around these uh, screw holes. I proceed to the back, kind of make the same little checks, and then from here, kind of give it a feel. Checking the finish on the side of the cup. Check the curved surface here. We gotta check to make sure that there's no dust or dirt kind of caught in the grills here. Take a look at these ear pads. So I like to kind of grab the cup and just kind of pull on this guy a little bit. You want to make sure that it's tight, but not too tight. We can also do something like this. Got a little humidity control packet that goes in here. Got a little pin. 
Uh, and that's about it. We can close this guy up. So this headphone's ready to go to its uh, new owner and, and be enjoyed uh, for a lifetime of use. That's right. Thank you, Alex. And uh, that headphone's headed out the door. I'm gonna shoot it back into the studio with Zach. And uh, yeah, thanks for coming along on this uh, journey with me as the headphones get shipped out. So yeah, that's about it for this, uh, you know, the process is EMF video. As you can see, there's a lot of little things that go on that make the headphones perfect before they get to you. And uh, what makes a ZMF sound like a ZMF as it's built, as the wood is cured, as the wood is CNC'd, assembled, listened to, finished, and quality control processed. And uh, yeah, we just, we put a lot of effort in. And you know, I know sometimes on the used market, or sometimes headphones have been opened up or fiddled with, and you know that's one of the beauties of ZMFs is whatever shape it's in, we can help you repair it, whether you have to send it to us or not, whether you're a first owner or second owner. And uh, yeah, hit us up at support at zmfheadphones.com if you ever have any issues. And I'm definitely also gonna link our uh, ownership video just showing you how to look at your headphone and make sure everything's up to par in the uh, comments below. And thanks for watching the ZMF YouTube channel. See ya. When the